Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a, a project that I did for a, a case study at work. The way I did this was I first created a surface in Fusion 360 so I could easily create this undulating curvature. And then I brought this, I brought the Fusion model into Revit and created the adaptive components in Revit that attach to the Fusion surface. These adaptive components work on two surfaces, a bottom and top surface. This is all made of one single adaptive component panel. That this panel changes from an opaque panel to a fabric material with some transparency on it to completely transparent as glass. So I'll just show you the parameters that I use to, to make this change happen with one single adaptive component. So if I select one of these panels and select Edit Family, you can see that uh, this panel uh, is adaptive, is hosted on eight adaptive points that, that attach to the top and bottom surface. And there is this one on top. It's actually another family you can edit and in this family I just created I've extruded the panel four times and for each one of these I've assigned a visibility parameter and a material parameter that gives you the four different parameters that I would want and right now I'm only using three one is the opaque one the fabric one and the glass so then I, I loaded it into this project and I, uh, I've used these parameters uh, as well. So, in this family I have the formula. If we look at the formulas, there is a few others for other reasons, but the ones that are doing, uh, making it possible that I can use this same family and change the material or the panel that displays automatically is this DU. So there is one parameter assigned here that measures the length between the top and bottom surface. We can see it here. <clears throat> and this length parameter is used by this PMN one that is a proportion of the, the length parameter. So this number, I wanted it to be a smaller measurable number just to use in the formulas, just for convenience. So what I did here, I've assigned the material 1, 2, and 4, I stopped using the number 3, and uh, what I said is that when this distance varies, this number will vary from between 0 and a little bit over 2, 3, I just gave it a range, anything that would be less than 1, uh, it would show the material 1, would be the opaque material then anything between uh, 1 and 2 and the material 2 and everything uh, over 2 would assign the material 4 and one is, when one is on the other one should be off that's what the formulas are, are doing well, what happens in reality is that the length changes but if we change the proportion here you can see this number change uh, so if we change it to a bigger number you'll see it went to 1.3, 1.3 is between 1 and 2 so this will be the visible panel and the other ones keep, uh, keep invisible if I divide this by a bigger number it would be less than 1 so it would assign the first round so with these few formulas I could swap between a few materials so just by varying the length then you just load it into the project and you'll see the panel changing with the movement of the surface. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time.